Hello. Today I want to give you some tips about how to create international citations. We're going to take a look at how to cite to cases from international courts. First, I just want to talk for a minute about the purpose of citations. I find sometimes there can be a lot of ambiguity in citations and it's helpful to remember why we cite anything. We cite for two reasons. First, we want to prove that we didn't invent the facts or ideas we are writing about. We depend on the facts and ideas of others, so we cite to them. Secondly, we want to give our readers the chance to find those facts and ideas themselves by reading the documents we are citing to. So citation is about proof and findability. There might be one third angle. Why not just describe everything in words? Why do we need a standardized citation format? It's simple, paper and ink. Paper and ink are expensive, and if everyone described documents in their own words without abbreviation, we'd waste tons of paper and ink on very long articles full of very long citations. All right, so now we can make a citation. First, let's look at an international court decision, a case before the International Court of Justice. In front of us, we have the first two pages of the case, which I found on the court's website. In fact, the case gives us a cit suggested citation. This can make your life really easy because it includes most of the information we need, but not in the same order that the Blue Book requires, so we're going to rearrange here a bit. You want to open up the Blue Book and take a look at Rule 21.5.1. If you need a Blue Book, we have them available to check out in the library. First, we need the case name, then the party's names, then the characterization of the decision, here a judgment. Then we need the volume and name of the publication. You see that we put it in a different order than they put it in, but it's still the same volume and name, just minus the reports part. Then we need the page number. Then you need a pin site to the paragraph you want. I'm pretending that was paragraph 111 because it's all about whales. And you need the date. Once you've done all of that, you need to double check whether you might have missed some abbreviations. Do the party names need to be abbreviated? Yes, they do. Under Rule 21.5.1b, you need to abbreviate the party names according to Table T10. Really, Table T10.3, Countries and Regions. At this point, if you've been hoping you don't need a blue book, you really need to get one from the library. You can't just guess at the abbreviations. Let me show you. Take a guess at how Australia is abbreviated. Ready? Okay, so Australia is A-U-S-T-L period. Not what I expected. Now, Japan. How would you abbreviate Japan? Like May, June, and July, the Blue Book doesn't abbreviate Japan. This is why you need to check out a Blue Book to consult Table T10.3. Finally, we need to put it all together. For that, look at the examples in the Blue Book to make sure you have the punctuation right. We need to add some commas and parentheses here. And voila, you have an ICJ judgment citation. For cases before the Inter-American Court of Human Rights, like with the ICJ, there is an official reporter you need to cite. It's called the Inter-American Court of Human Rights Decisions and Judgments. You also need the case name, the volume number, the series, the case number, the page number, and the date. Cite the English version whenever possible. The ICC, the International Criminal Court, is very similar to the ICJ. You just need the case name, case number, type of ruling, paragraph number if necessary, and date. The key difference here is that rather than the official ICJ reporter, here you may cite to the web. The Blue Book specifies that the cases can be cited pursuant to Rule 18.1. In short, you can append the URL. This goes back to the point about findability. Did you read the ICC decision in a book? Of course not. Your article's reader won't either, so helping them find the decision with a URL makes your reader's job easier. For recent cases of the European Court of Human Rights, cite using the court's official website, WHODOC, short for Human Rights Documentation. Citations of WHODOC should include the party's names, the application number for the case, a pin site using paragraph numbers, the date, and the document URL, that findability again. For older cases, read the Blue Book rule very carefully as there are very specific publications you need to cite to depending on the year the case was published.